I'm here with Ted Musgrave from the city's recreation department and we're going to be talking about the summer concert series right here at the Western Prom, a beautiful location. Could you just describe the whole concert series and how it came about? Sure, Tom. We've been uh, doing concerts up here on the Western Prom since 1990. Um, in years previous to that, we've had concerts down at Deering Oaks Park and Fort Island Park Gazebo. Uh, but we'd never done a, uh, a featured acoustic series type thing. And so in 1990, I figured that that was a pretty good time. All the unplugged artists were starting to come out and do, you know, bring their folk guitars and <clears throat> do, uh, do the clubs with the unplugged thing. thing. So, uh, so I started the series up here in 1990 and uh, luckily got some real uh, talented uh, artists to start off that first and second year to, to make a go of it. Great, and, and uh, what's the uh, what lineup for this summer? These are all on Wednesday nights um, at sunset, because it's called the Sunset Folk Series. And um, it starts, uh, the first one is Wednesday, July 7th. So we're, we're featuring Rob Scott, and most of these acts are going to be solo acts this year. Um, in years past, we have had bands and trios and duos and things of that sort, but this will pretty much be solo acts. So we've got Rob Scott, who's from Brunswick, wonderful, uh, talented singer and songwriter. And uh, again, let me preface this by saying that all these artists are pretty much doing their own original music. Um, it's no covers, just original stuff. So, <clears throat> and we've got tons of local artists here in town and the surrounding southern main area, which are very, very talented. Uh, on July 14th, Will Gaddis will perform. He's a keyboardist, lives in Falmouth, and he's also got a band. And he just released a, a CD as well, I think his second one. Uh, and he, so it's nice to add keyboard to the program. Kind of, uh, I don't know, it offers a different side of folk and contemporary musicians. And um, then on the 21st is Mark Farrington. And Mark Farrington is uh, the singer, songwriter, uh, lead, um, lead vocalist for the band Cattle Call. And Mark has been around in the Portland area for ages and ages and ages and has written songs with Slade Cleves before. And uh, he's very talented. It sounds like a good uh, range of different musicians. It's diverse, yeah. And I understand they're, they're performing for free. They're not getting paid for this. That's correct. We had some uh, budget constraints this year, and those artists did agree to perform for free. Uh, it was very, very kind of them. And it, it, as you can see, the, the park here is a beautiful spot for a concert setting. Yeah, could you describe a little bit what you were describing before about the background of the musicians? Yes, again, on um, it's Wednesday nights at sunset, and the concerts actually go for only 40 minutes. So it's a quick concert. Um, the first one starts at 8 p.m., and then progressively as we go through the summer, uh, the, the shows move up to like 7.30 and 7.15, etc. So um, you come here and you sit down at the park on the grass area, got room enough for like 300 400 people which we've had before and um hopefully if it's a nice evening <laughs> you get to see the sunset over the white mountains um with some little musical background there is there any rain date in case there's bad weather no we used to have them but uh but i learned a long time ago not to reschedule so they just get they get rescheduled for 2011 if they get rained out this year and I, you, there's more musicians, there's more, there's more dates and that sort of thing. Where can people get more information about this? The, probably the easiest thing is either, either go to the city's website, which is www.portlandmaine.gov, and I'm sure it'll be showing on the screen as well. Or folks can uh, visit the Facebook page, uh, Sunset Folk Series, um, with spaces. It's not all tied together. And uh, that's probably the easiest route to get to the schedule. Well, great. Thanks a lot. This is a great spot for an interview and probably even a better spot for a concert. So thank you for telling us about it. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day today, and I'm hoping, keep fingers crossed, that we have nice weather for the Wednesday Night Sunset Folk Series this summer. Good luck. Thanks again, Tom.